Out of 10, a bill awaiting Governor DeWine's signature would prohibit public schools and universities from requiring students or employees to be vaccinated against COVID-19. Lawmakers who support the bill are in favor because all three vaccines have yet to receive full FDA approval. Two News reporter Caroline Morris is live with how this could shape the fall semester. Well, Brooke and Mark, right now only Ohioans 12 and older can get vaccinated, so both Democratic and Republican lawmakers agree. Teachers, employees, and older students who want to get vaccinated have every right to, but whether the vaccine should be mandatory is another discussion. The vaccine should be a choice, uh, even in K-12 through schools right now. Uh, every vaccine, not just a COVID vaccine, you can have a conscience exemption uh, and not get the vaccine. And so, you know, in order to work uh, or in order to go to school, uh, you should not be forced to get the COVID vaccine. Republican Senator Naranj Antani believes the choice to get vaccinated should be a personal one. If Bill 244 becomes law, it would only apply to the coronavirus vaccine and no other childhood vaccines required before the pandemic. Now, Democrat Representative Allison Russo says if this bill passes, teachers and students could be at risk. Vaccines are safe, they are effective, and vaccines save lives, including the COVID-19 vaccine. The Ohio Academy of Family Physicians advises parents to vaccinate their child if possible. A statement on their website says for their own health and safety, as well as the health and safety of their community. Ohio's immunization rates for children and adolescents are not where they need to be for all children to be protected from potentially dangerous vaccine preventable diseases. The National Education Association also released a statement saying they believe that state legislatures should establish clear guidelines for waivers that minimize the numbers of unvaccinated vaccinated students to those necessary due to documented medical conditions. The bill wouldn't apply to public hospitals or private schools and universities. Live in the newsroom, Caroline Morse, 2 News working for you.